Hello there. Um, okay, today we're going to have a look at Xcode. Um, I've been looking at trying to make an app for a little while, so I'm very new to this. I'm going to share my experience as I learn. Um, you're going to need to download it from the Apple website, um, which is developer.apple.com forward slash Xcode. The latest version at the moment is uh, 4.5.2. So if you go ahead and download that, uh, it may take a little while because um, it's quite a big file. Um, once you've gone ahead and installed it, you can't really do it wrong, it's just a next next um, installation. So I've got it on my desktop here. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up. It's just going to take you through um, a couple of the the basic things you can do in Xcode. So I've just clicked to make a basic application. Um, I'm going to start by making a single view application, which is the most basic uh, basic one you can do. And click next. Um, you're going to put a product name in. Um, let's just call this uh, my first demo. And um, class prefix. These are pretty uh, self-explanatory. Um, okay, um, devices. I'm going to be making mine for iPhone, um, iPad. Obviously, you get a bigger workspace. Uh, Universal is for for both of them, so there's a little bit more you need to look out for then. Um, so I'm going to start by just using iPhone. Um, storyboards is new in Xcode 4. Um, you want to use this. It makes making simple apps very very easy. Um, leave this on one as well, um, and untick uh, include unit tests for the time being. So go ahead and click next. It's going to ask you where you want to put it now. Um, so I'm just going to make a new folder called testing folder and I'm just going to create my app in there so it's going to go ahead and create the app I'm just make this a little bit bigger here so I have a bigger workspace um, this is the interface you'll see um, so if we break this down on the left here you have uh, the files you can see all the different files it's automatically created some by um, start from the starter template um, in the middle here is where you're going to be working um, and then on the right we have some options um, to do with whatever we're, we're changing in the middle here so if I start by looking at the root here um, so my first demo which is the name of my app it has um, a lot of options to do with our application um, you can choose which orientations it likes um, what the apps are going to be uh, what the app icon is going to be down here um, what the splash screen launch image is going to be um, you need different ones for each version of the iPhone so the normal iPhone and the, the retina display and then the iPhone 5's 4 inch retina display um, what frameworks so if you're adding any additional framework something like um, Twitter social media um, framework or a map framework you can add them um, when they're added then you can use the code of them um, but we'll look at that later I'm still learning that myself. Um, and then along the top here, um, you've got some info um, and summary. It's going to be you, you name your app when it comes up and when you run it as a test. So, anyway, um, I'll just skip that for now. Um, I haven't really got into app delegates yet, um, but the ones that you're going to need are the storyboard, the .h, and the .m file. Um, the storyboard is where you actually create your app, um, the look and the, f the view of the app. Uh, so, if we see you can see here you've got like an iPhone template which is basically a bog standard view controller. Um, view controllers are sort of the screens you see so you can have navigation ones um, which uh, sort of like they lay on top of so the navigation is always there regardless of which page you're on and then you get other, other, other objects such as um, text fields, labels and all you need to do is just drag them on. This arrow here identifies that this is the first pet screen you can see. Um, so when we run the app, that's what we're going to see. So let's just pop something on there for the time being. I'm just going to put a label on there. So you can literally just drag it onto the screen. And um, just let go. And it will place it. And you can align it using these lines. It sort of magnetizes to the to the middle. And you can drag it one way. And then it will magnetize to the same size the opposite way. Um, so if you just double click in the middle there. You should be able to change the name. So you can run my first app. Which is how you generally change the text. Um, and then the options you can see here what I've actually added the options are all going to be on the right here um, so the options is uh, this tab here so we can change stuff as put it in the center for instance and we might want to change the color of it as well um, or change the font size and we can make it a lot larger um, so that's one thing you're going to need to use uh, there's quite a few options you can change in here and they change depending on the object you put in um, and also here is the, your um, your code which you can sort of tie to to the objects but we'll look at that at a later time once we've added some code um, so that, I'm only going to add one object for now um, and we'll move on to the H file the H and the M file um, are the two places where you place the code um, the H is for defining your variables um, and then the M file is more about where you use the variables and do the code and um, sort of do the actions which will then 
attached to the objects um, by sort of drawing a line as such. Um, and then those objects, when, when clicked on or whatever, whatever action they need to have, will do these actions um, and do what you need them to do. Um, if you want to add any pictures or anything like that, you're going to need to put them into supporting files. Um, you just right click or uh, bring up the options here and uh, add files to my first demo or your app name, so you can add an image and then we can do stuff as add images which we'll look at later. So, because I've actually created an app here with just a label, what we can do is go up to here and run. Uh, I created an iPhone app so I'm also going to run it in the iPhone 6 simulator which means the iOS 6 simulator and hit run. Um, what it's going to do is going to build your app um, without any code it should run fine, if your code's wrong it may it may break and it will tell you why the debugging is pretty good. And then you see your iOS simulator down the bottom here um, so it's going to take a few seconds just to install the app onto the iPhone and then you can see it here, so we've got my first app um, which looks pretty much like what we did here you can't do anything with it, uh, we can click the home button um, and then we can click back on it and it will bring up the app again um, I hope this has been a nice uh, first, first look for you um, we will take a further look at other stuff as I learn and uh, we shall go from there, thanks for watching